Just Jeremy Wheeler. All right, let's take a look at the tropics. And uh, <clears throat> so here it is. We got two hurricanes, and then there's two tropical storms. There's Hurricane Sally, which is uh, down there across the Gulf of Mexico. We talked about that. We're going to talk about a lot more in a moment. Hurricane Paulette, that's moving away from Bermuda. We did track that one. And then this is uh, Tropical Storm Vicky, Tropical Storm Teddy. Both these are way out to sea and not going to have any impact on us, at least over the next few days, but we will track that. So here's the latest on Sally. A little bit of uncertainty with this one. Before, it was looking like it was headed towards New Orleans and strengthening. Well, it actually weakened a little bit in the uh, latest forecast, a little bit. There's some upwelling, I think, in here where the wa cooler waters come up from beneath, and I think that's weakened it a little bit. Also, now it looks like it's going to track more over here towards Mobile. So it's a Category 1 hurricane now, 85 mile an hour winds. It looks like it's going to make landfall as a Category 1. Still some uncertainty in here. But this will be around Mobile, and this will be Wednesday morning, tomorrow morning. All that water will flush up into Mobile Bay and cause uh, lots of flooding there. Fort Walton Beach, uh, Biloxi, over to Ocean Springs. they got a lot of problems down that way with this system, with the winds, the tide, the surge. Uh, it's going to be pretty big. Even though it's a Category 1, it's you know sitting there for a while. So then it moves inland, weakens, moves to the northeast, and then to the east. Now, there's one model I looked at just recently, which does bring it up closer to our region as we get into this time frame. But most of them are down here and keep it uh, to our south. So I do think we're going to get some moisture from this system. This is one model, the GFS, which does bring a good amount of rain up this way, a couple of inches of rain at least. Uh, but the highest amounts by far are down there, where they could see about 15, maybe up to 20 inches of rain in some spots. Now, the tropical systems, Vicky and Teddy, these are tropical storms, and they're both forecast to stay out over the ocean over the next few days. In fact, I think Vicky's going to fall apart, but Teddy is expected to strengthen, move northwest. Now, on that track, though, it would likely be closer to Bermuda and stay out to sea. Hopefully, they get missed by that system. They just got hit by Paulette, which, again, stays out to sea. So, with all that, locally, things are quiet. Things are great for us today. We've got high pressure around, cool northeast breeze. It's looking good. We've got a stationary front to the south, and our temps right now are in the 60s in Hampton Roads with 50s and 40s off to the north and nor the northeast states. Nice and cool up there. It's actually mild, though, in the uh, north central U.S. So for us, for the humidity, um, you know, the humidity's down a little bit today, goes up Thursday and Friday quite a bit, and then it drops off Saturday and Sunday behind a cold front. Now, Super Doppler 10 radar is nice and quiet at the moment. Future track has uh, fair skies for today. Our model is trying to throw in these little bit of sprinkles. I'm not going to rule out a stray sprinkle, but I think this is overdone. It did the same thing last week. I think it's catching some moisture off the ocean a little bit, but we're pretty dry at the surface. I don't think that's going to happen. A sprinkle maybe. All right, so nice weather overall today, partly cloudy tonight, and then tomorrow partly cloudy skies. Again, model's trying to throw in some showers. Maybe a stray, 10% chance. Not good enough to put on a seven-day forecast. So the next two days in my book are looking pretty good. And right now, this is what it looks like outside. We've got a little bit of high, thin clouds. That's it. Temps are in the mid to upper 60s with a few upper 50s now in Williamsburg and Franklin. So today, highs in the mid to upper 70s, fair skies, nice weather. Uh, northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. And tomorrow, highs 79 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Thursday, Friday, we've got a lot of rain moving in, highs in the 70s. And then Saturday and Sunday, we got high temps near 70, and we dry out quite a bit.